Antique Gold Hallmarks Identification Guide Generally, the older the gold, the purer the gold. But that's generally. Precisely speaking, there are a lot of factors that determine the purity and value of gold objects. Amongst these, hallmarks happen to be the most important factor. In this guide, we'll explore the antique gold hallmarks. We'll be exploring everything from history to identification and pricing. Let's get started. What is a gold hallmark? By definition, a hallmark is synonymous with an identification mark. It is specific to the maker or manufacturing company of the product. And it's struck on the product to distinguish it from other products of the same nature. To put it simply, its concept is similar to the hem tag at the back of your shirt. The hem tag carries the brand logo and the size of the shirt to help you easily identify the maker of the shirt and determine who can use it. Similarly, a goldsmith or a gold maker marks his products with a unique symbol. This is referred to as a gold hallmark. The purity of the gold. The maker of the product. Date and year of manufacturing. Consumers can use this information when repurposing gold products. How so? Well, if they want to resell the gold, the hallmark authenticates the purity of the gold and provides them with the right compensation. Along the same lines, if they wish to trade or liquidate it, they receive the rightful value of the gold. History of Antique Gold Hallmark Who thought of the hallmarking system? And since when did people begin hallmarking gold? According to the antique gold we studied for this guide, gold hallmarking began back in 1238 when Henry III commanded the goldsmith community of the time to shortlist six goldsmiths of London to authenticate gold with a standardized list of gold hallmark symbols. Eventually, the system extended out of London and became a global standard. However, a grouping between goldsmiths and monopoly soon came into play which nullified the standardized gold hallmark symbols and the rules set by the kings. Hence, the world gradually shifted to the regional hallmarking system for gold objects. In this way, it is easier to monitor who's following the system and who's corrupting it. Types of Antique Gold Hallmark By the 1800s, there were countless gold hallmarking symbols. It is why the room for corruption and manipulation opened. However, some righteous people continued their gold business with honesty. And therefore, the authorities sought a more reliable means of hallmarking gold objects. Given this, the following are some types of gold hallmarks you'll find on antique objects. Assay Office Mark An Assay Office Mark tells which office checked the quality of the gold and marked it. Birmingham, Anchor Edinburgh, Castle London, Leopard Face Sheffield, Floral Pattern Here are their symbols respectively. Fineness Mark Also known as the Standard Mark, the Fineness Mark talks about the purity of gold. It tells the content of the original gold and the gold object and its ratio with impurities. The standardized system gives the purity estimate in parts. For example, if 750 parts of a gold necklace are pure gold out of 1000, it is 18 karat gold. Now, there are standard gold hallmark symbols for gold objects as well. Note that hallmarks for other precious metals also comprise representative numbers. However, there's a difference in their shapes. For example, fineness marks on silver objects have an oval shape. Check out this page about the anatomy of a hallmark to understand the difference. Sponsors or Maker's Mark The sponsor or the maker mark is the identification mark that represents the manufacturing entity. It could be a company, retailer, wholesaler, or individual. Usually, sponsor marks begin with a letter. This system originated in England back in the 16th century or so. It was followed around the world for a short time before each country adopted its own hallmarking system. However, since we're talking about antique gold objects here, you ought to recognize these. Most gold objects that classify as antique today carry these symbols. Also, the three types of antique gold hallmarks given above are compulsory ones. There are additional marks as well that goldsmiths can add to their products and deliver more information about their authenticity. The optional hallmarks include the following. Date marks. Traditional marks. Commemorative marks. 
International Convention Marks Duty Marks Import Marks Drawback Marks You can learn more about these hallmarks here. How to Identify Antique Gold Hallmark Even today, gold hallmarks are of immense value to buyers and sellers. However, they are of particular value for antique gold collectors and buyers. As mentioned above, the more ancient the gold, the higher the pricing. If you own an antique gold object, you might have something worth millions, or even billions. In 2020, an ancient gold coin got sold for about four. One million dollars. Similarly, this Victorian-style ring from the 1860s costs approximately six thousand dollars. We'll be checking out more of such antique jewelry in the next section. For now, you only need to know that to acquire the rightful value of your antique gold possession, you must be familiar with the identification process. You ought to know how to assess and identify the antique symbols stamped on jewelry. Here's how you can do that. Step 1. Look for the hallmark. Antique gold hallmark identification begins with tracing the maker of the gold jewel or ornament. For bracelets and rings, we recommend looking at the interior surface. But for necklaces and chain-based bracelets, we recommend looking for the hallmark near the clasp. Decorative ornaments may have a hallmark at the base or near the bottom of the ornament. For earrings, it's a good idea to search for symbols near the earring post. If you cannot locate the hallmark in any of the above-mentioned locations, there's a chance grub or dust has settled over the antique gold object. Rinse the gold jewelry or ornament in warm water and scrub it gently with a piece of cloth or toothbrush. Do not scrub aggressively. Antique gold is not sturdy as recently crafted gold items. You must treat it with delicacy. Even after cleaning the gold object, if you cannot see any symbols or signs that may indicate its origin, we recommend taking your possession to a professional for proper evaluation. Here you can find the six best antique appraisal services. Step 2. Trace down its roots using these resources. Once you've located the symbols, it's time to find out what they mean. First, tally the symbols with the three compulsory gold hallmarks given above. Also, check if the gold item has got any optional gold hallmarks. If you've managed to read the numbers and detect gold content, use it to measure the gold's present-day worth. For example, if the symbol says 999, it means it's 24 carats or carat gold. Now, measure the weight of the antique gold item and multiply the weight in grams by the current price of 24k gold in your country. You'll get an estimated monetary value of the antique gold item you have. If you manage to decode the standard mark, a say mark, or any other mark on the gold item, you can use it to further estimate the monetary value. Note that you'll need to put your possession through professional evaluation to get accurate pricing. In case, you fail to recognize the symbols on the gold jewel or ornament, we recommend browsing this website, Hallmark Research Institute. This dedicated website provides information about present-day and historical hallmarks from different parts of the world. Possibly, the symbols on your antique gold item may belong to a different region, and this site can help you locate it. Step 3. Put it up for auction. After verifying the origins and value of your gold possession, it's time to find the right market for it. There are two ways to sell it. On a fixed price. Auction. Although you can sell it at a fixed price to antique collectors or gold antique collectors, it's a good idea to sell through an auction. In this way, you can acquire the best possible value for your antique gold item. Some of the best places to put your antique gold items for auction include. Or you can sell your antique gold item to museums. Step 4. Give it away properly. We value antiques deeply. Therefore, we recommend our readers play their part in preserving the legacy. Whenever you sell an antique gold item, ensure that you pack it up safely, so it doesn't get damaged. Also, issue a receipt to the recipient with all the relevant details, including handling instructions, history, and previous pricing, if you purchased it too. Similarly, if you're buying antique gold jewelry or gold item, ensure that you check for these details. It turns out handy in the long run. Antique gold jewelry, timelines and examples. 
The history of jewelry is divided into eras. The Georgian era, 1714 to 1837. The Victorian era, 1837 to 1901. The Romantic era, 1837 to 1861. The Grand era, 1861 to 1880. The Aesthetic era, 1880 to 1901. The Art Nouveau era, 1890 to 1910. The Edwardian era, 1901 to 1910. Although remarkable gold jewelry was produced before 1714 as well, it was after 1714 that the most unique and beautiful gold jewelry designs surfaced. For example, check out Castellani's brooch featuring the vibes of the 1860s. It even has a Roman coin from the 1860s. Following this, there's an antique rose-cut diamond ring from the 18th century. You can check it out at Christie's auction site. It was up for sale back in 2002. Antique Gold Hallmark Identification, Case Study Say you have a 10 grams gold bracelet that got passed down to you from your great-grandmother. A leopard's head. 999. A combination of letters. Since you know it comes to you from your great-grandmother, you can use this information to calculate the age of the antique item. Determine the era in which it was bought. Next, recall that a leopard's head represents the London SA office. This indicates that the jewel was manufactured in London. The numbers 999 represent that the antique gold item contains the highest possible content of pure gold, I. E. 24 carats. Google the current price of 24 carats in your country. For now, we'll assume you're in the United States of America. Currently, 24 carats of gold cost $551 per gram. Hence, your 10 grams gold bracelet is worth $5,510. Now, look up the combination of letters on the list of antique goldsmiths operating in the UK. If it's a reputable company, you can charge more than $5,510. Since it's an antique gold bracelet manufactured by a historical goldsmith, your bracelet can be easily priced at $20,000 or more. Do gold hallmarks increase the antique value? Yes and no. Antique symbols stamped on jewelry help recognize how old the jewelry is or how much gold content it contains. This, in turn, helps gold professionals estimate the right value for the antique. Plus, if you manage to identify that a gold item got manufactured in the 16th century, you'll not only receive the amount worth the gold content. You can also increase its value based on its age. However, the symbols themselves have little value of their own. For example, you cannot charge a higher price, than average, for a gold necklace just because they comprise gold hallmarks of its present-day manufacturer. Conclusion Congratulations! You're now fully educated about identifying antique gold items. We hope you can out your recently gained knowledge about gold hallmarks to use and solve any challenges you face in this domain. In case, you have any more questions regarding gold identification marks on jewelry, please let us know in the comments.